everybody, my name is Bandy. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a different kind of video. I'm going to be telling you a story about how I was banned from McDonald's. Uh, I'm, I'm not banned from every McDonald's. Maybe I'm banned from one McDonald's. Maybe. I don't really know. You'll, you'll have to just see for yourself. Let me just explain the story. And uh, you can you can judge for yourself whether I'm banned forever or not. So me and the boys were out late, all right? It's about 11 o'clock at night. We're driving around. We're hungry, all right? We're rowdy. It's me and Elijah in the front seat, and I got two friends in the back seat. I got Mike and I got Dylan. And you know what? We're famished. We want to go to probably the worst place for you, McDonald's. We're like, yep, it's cheap. It's fast. It's all heck. And boy, Big Mac sounds good right now. So, we go to McDonald's, here we are, in McDonald's, we got the M going, dude, we got the drive through we got the front door, we got the thing wrap wrapping around the back, and we are stuck in this long, long line of cars. We're in the way back, stuck. This is a busy McDonald's, it's probably the busiest I've ever seen it at 11 o'clock at night. So like I said, there's me, Elijah, and two other friends, who were sitting in the car, we're hungry, we're waiting patiently, but there's an issue. Two of the people do not have money. One being Elijah, he forgot his wallet, and the other being uh, my boy Mike, because uh, he just never has money. So we need two orders. I'm getting Elijah, Dylan's getting Mike. We can figure it out. It's perfect. It was going to be the end of that, but we were sadly mistaken. So we finally pull up to the drive through and there's a visibly annoyed woman that takes my card, takes the money, and then disappears into the back. She comes back a few moments later and she has one bag, which I'm a little confused about because I'm pretty sure that we had two orders. She, she comes back with one bag and two drinks. There's four people, mind you. It didn't click initially about the drink part, uh, but the one bag caught me off guard. And she hands to you and, and I, I look down and I'm like, is this it? I was confused. And she says, is that what you ordered? Uh, I, I don't know what to say. It's like, I don't, I don't know. I look in the bag. There's food there. I'm like, yeah, sure. It looks like this is the order, I suppose. But then again, th everything's wrapped up. I can't see it. I don't know. I'm, I'm just like, I guess so. So then I pull off out of the drive through and we're gone. But I do not leave the parking lot because, you know, I'm driving. I want to eat too. All right. I can't be driving and eating at the same time. That's dangerous. Okay. That's something hoodlums do. So we park in me and the three friends. Look in the bag. Look at the bag. Right. We, we look in it, we're pulling stuff out, and we just all come to the conclusion that it's wrong. It's completely wrong. Well, not completely wrong. It was the two kids in the back, my two boys. It was their food and their drinks, but not my drink, not Elijah's drink. So being the pilot of the car, I have to go get it. It's my priority. I was the one talking to the woman. It was clearly my fault. Let me go fix my mistake or their mistake. It was mostly their mistake. They, they completely forgot a bag. I have the receipt though, so I get out of the car and go into the McDonald's. So I get into the McDonald's and there's two counters, right? Space in the middle, two registers, and then there's people in the back and a guy that seems visibly extremely busy doing stuff in the front. There was a guy waiting in line, so I stood next to him and I start chatting him up. I'm like, hey guy, how you doing? Are you in line? Can I get behind you? He's like, yeah, I'm in line. Sure. So I get behind him. He's like, they look pretty busy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, they do look pretty busy. Uh, they messed up my order. They were so busy. I just happened to mention to him. He's like, oh, oh, if, if they messed up your order, please, please go ahead. I was like, thank you. You're the best. He let me go first. And then I patiently waited at the register. And then the very busy employee that had a hat on. I, I mean, just so you know who he is, he, he's, the, he's the hat guy. He, ha he was the only one with a hat. It wasn't even a McDonald's hat, it was like a beanie hat. So, I don't know. That's just what he looked like. This is a visual representation of exactly what it looks like. But he wasn't happy either. He was like, oh my god, it's so busy right now. I can't even believe this. It's 11 o'clock at night. Where are all these people coming from? I was like, yeah, dude, I know. I'm really sorry to say, but you guys messed up my order. I came through the drive-thru. I just didn't get it at all. We ordered two things. You gave us one. Here's the receipt. He gives me this receipt, he looks at it really quick, and then he runs in the back, starts preparing it. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get my food. That's, that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna get my food. It's gonna be the end of it. It's gonna be awesome. This is, uh, this has been a great experience at McDonald's. Uh, I love this place. But, you know, that's just not how life works out sometimes. So he comes back with one bag, the bag of food that was me and Elijah's. I'm like, yep, this is it. Here it is. But then I notice, <laughs> after I grab the bag, he comes back and drops off one cup. 
when the order specifically called for two. He did not read my receipt correctly. And then as soon as he puts the cup down, he runs back and starts doing a bunch of other garbage. Flies. He is zooming. He is getting these orders out of the way. So he's over off to the left doing things. He's not even behind the counter anymore. And, you know, I have one drink. He's clearly very busy. I don't want to bother him. I just want the cup that I paid for and I want to leave. So I can see the cup behind the counter where, where they keep the cups. It's right behind the counter. And I'm really close to the counter. So I can just probably go around it and grab the cup and, you know, leave because they're super busy. You know, I, I just want I just want my cup that I bought, that I purchased. And he didn't give me the receipt back. So, you know, the proof is gone. But I ordered it. It's on the receipt. He threw it somewhere. I don't know where it is. So I take the initiative to go behind the counter and grab my own drink so I don't have to bother this man anymore so he can get the line down and not want to die for the next few hours. I was like, I'm going to do him a favor. I should have asked him for a drink, but he was busy and I didn't really care that much. It's just a drink from McDonald's that costs a dollar. So I go behind the counter, I grab my drink that I paid for, and then I walked out on the other side of the counter where I was supposed to be, and he says, hey! And I mean, I was a little shocked, but like, it wasn't that bad. I was like, yes, hello? He says, don't come behind the counter again, okay? I was like, oh yeah, sorry, okay, but I paid, I had the receipt. You, you took it, you can check it out. I had the receipt for the drink. He's like, I don't care, don't come behind the counter again. And I was like, oh, okay sure sure whatever and the language that he used to follow i am not going to utter i'm not going to repeat because i'm above that i'm above that type of language but he was he was using those words the words we don't use he was yelling at me because i stepped by the counter to grab the drink that i bought because that that was the second time they messed up first they didn't even give me my entire meal and the second time <sighs> i just wanted the drink he was so visibly angry I didn't know what to do. So I just started to ignore him. And as I'm walking over to the drinks, he is just screaming at, the, at me so loud. Everybody in the McDonald's is looking at me and him and he's just yelling. He's like, don't come back. <laughs> get out of the store right now. Telling me to get out. And I'm just slowly walking over to the drinks, filling up the drinks that I bought, fulfilling my own order of a Sprite and a lemonade. And Hatman is just pointing at me, telling me to get out. And as I was filling up my drink, you know, the, the guy that let me cut in front of him, he was right next to me, uh, cause he was waiting for his order. <laughs> and he leans over to me and he says, he's like, you know, I don't think it was that big of a deal. And I was like, yeah, I know. He's just, he's just clearly very mad at something. I don't think it's me. I don't think I'm the reason he's very upset. I think it might be his job. It might be the stress that his job is inducing on him. But, you know, the guy that let me uh, cut him in line, he's a really great guy. I was like, thank God somebody understands, but, you know, I got to split. See you. And this, this guy behind the counter, the hat man, is still yelling at me as I'm filling up my drinks, talking to another person, telling me to get out, <laughs> to, to never come back. Like, he's just making a big deal out of something that wasn't that big of a deal. I even apologized, and he said he does not care, and to get out. This is what happens when you work at McDonald's. I haven't seen this guy at the specific McDonald's before, so I don't know how long he's been working, but he definitely isn't a manager. I, I just don't, I don't know what to make of it, dude. All the fries, the sodas, the Big Macs, it's all jumbled up in his head. He doesn't know what's real and what's fake. He doesn't know how human beings act anymore. All the stress has gotten to him. He is truly insane. And as I'm walking out the door, he's still telling me to get out. <laughs> He says, never come back. He says, okay, I will. <laughs> he says, if you come back, you will not get served. And then I just walked out and I shut the door and I came back to the car and my friends were like, yo, how to go? And I told them this story and they really couldn't believe it. And neither could I. I experienced the entire thing and I'm still baffled by it. But that's it. That's how I got banned from McDonald's. I don't know if I'm ever allowed to go back. Probably. I don't think that one guy's opinion is going to affect my fast food going experience. I am allowed to go to other McDonald's, but if I see that guy again, you know, he might say something. And if he does, there's going to be another video. <laughs> Probably not, but I might mention it in a QA and a or something. Yeah, that was just the story I just wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was pretty ridiculous, but I also thought it was funny and wanted to share. I hope you guys enjoyed this different kind of video. If you want more story time videos, let me know down in the comments. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on social media down below, and consider sponsoring. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!